Good morning YouTubers, it's me CJ in Retro and I'm actually, believe it or not, off to Rewind South 2022 this morning, the yearly festival that we go to, the one I live my life for really every year, love this weekend and I've got my new t-shirt on, let me know what you think, it's going to be hard to show you but there we go, it's going to be backwards of course. There you go, Eddie Munson, Stranger Things 4. What a legendary character. <laughs> right, yeah, so we're on our way to Rewind Safe 2022 in Henley. Uh, like last year, I really can't believe, um, you know, we're lucky to be able to go to these festivals, especially after the pandemic the last two and a half years. I mean, they did really well to put the festival on at two weeks short notice last year. It was a little bit scaled down, but it was a really, really good weekend. So, yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit bigger and better this year. And as... Um, Clive Jackson, Doctor and the Medic said, rewind, you have balls of steel. So let's get on route to Henley on Thames and hopefully I can vlog some of this weekend. I might perhaps try and not do as much as I've done in previous times because obviously you like to sit there and relax and soak up the atmosphere and, and that. But I'll try and get you some footage at least. So yeah, come with me for a little uh, ride down memory lane, some old songs, some old acts at Rewind Safe 2022. Here I am at Wine Safe 2022, we've made it. Quickly show behind, if you can see with the sun. Feeling, struggling behind. And the queue's somewhere over there, so let's go and check it out. So here we are in the queue at Wine Safe 2022 Henley. But the party started already. Cheers. All we need to do now is get to the tent. Well, we made it. We're at Wine Safe Henley 2022, and we've got tent number 125, Boutique Bell Tent. Uh, if you can see behind there's Lynn, beauty. It's really hot. We just had about a mile and a half trek. We've really bought some heavy stuff 24 bottles of water, alcohol, clothes, a stove, chairs. Oh, I don't know. <sighs> Getting too old. It's a right trek. It's because it's all on luggage grass, and you know, we've, we've, not got, we've only got a suitcase and a pool thing with a cool box. And, yeah, Whew. we could do with a group of us, like we've loads of like trolleys and that really, but there you go. Anybody wants to come to Rewind next year, let me know. So yeah, we've made it, we're the only ones on our row, we've got the tunes on, we're cracking up with the, well, just had a nice, nice actually espresso martini out of a can, which strange was all right for a can. Um, so I'm just going to have my first can of the campsite and chill out, listen to some 80s tunes and watch everybody struggling arrive. So yeah, check in, keep watching the video, um, hopefully going to get some of the weekend, some of the apps. And some of the fun. So yeah, it's all good. Whew. Right, it's Friday evening. As you can see, I'm absolutely frazzled and sunburnt despite wearing a hat all day. So I don't know what more I can do apart from putting sun cream on after sun now and just quit like spin round uh, the boutique camping site that we've got. We've got some really good neighbours, but most have gone out for the evening, which we're about to do. You can see the sun is still shining. But a glorious day, really. So we've got the tunes on, still drinking, still trying to anyway. So right, so yeah, we're going to head into the arena now, try and pick up a lanyard with the show times. well, I should say, the running order for tomorrow and Sunday. And uh, there's a group on, I think, Coyote something band, party band, which are on about eight o'clock, it's about half seven nearly. So I'm going to try and find somewhere that's got some lager, get a drink or two and get ready to watch that group. Uh, they play like uh, 80s covers. And uh, hopefully they're going to do a request for me tonight, Boys of Summer. So. We're going to see them. Neville Staple from the Specials fame is on later. We've seen him before, so we might stick around for him, or we might just have a wander around Pink Flamingo, just have a look what's going on. We'll come back to the tent and chill, because to be honest, it's a long couple of days coming ahead of us, which we're really looking forward to. So, yeah, uh, keep stay, stay tuned, as I keep telling you, because you're going to hopefully see loads of footage of the weekend, and it's almost like being here, isn't it? So, Still knackered from earlier, you know. <laughs> so hopefully the next clip you see is us partying. We'll see. 
Okay, so we survived the first night at Rewind Safe 2022 here at Only on Thames. As you can see, I look absolutely frazzled. The sun's out again, and I look like I've been to, never mind Benidorm, Barbados. So yeah, um, I've wore a sun, I've wore a sun hat, not put no cream on, but I'm absolutely like a lobster again. So yeah, um, just had a few cans. We're gonna head into the main arena now. As you can see, the sun is absolutely blaring on me. So yeah, hopefully it should be a good day. Um, I don't wanna say too much, but I'm hoping to uh, I shouldn't really say it because uh, I'll probably get uh, disappointed. But I'm hoping to possibly meet Holly Johnson later because I actually know he's at, well, I know his agent. So I'm hoping that he can set it up and get me to meet him just well a couple of days before he goes and does his headline slot here. But I'm really looking forward to today. There's loads of um, artists I want to see. There's like level 42. Um, obviously Holly Johnson I've never seen live before. Was a big idol of mine back in the 80s. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to like seeing them. Bjorn again starting the show, so things like that, you know, artists you've never seen before, you know, that it's all good, so to be honest, it could be anybody here today and I'd still have a good time, but that's what I'm thinking anyway, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing Holly, obviously, and Level 42 mainly that I can think about, so yeah, it's been quite sunny this morning, it's going to be cloudy, so it's about one o'clock in the afternoon, we're going to head into the main arena now and get ready for Bjorn again at two o'clock, and I'm going to go and brave those bar prices at uh, £5.70 a can of uh, probably not cold, um, Red Stripe, so yeah, I'm trying to think who else is on the bill today. I've not got the lanyard right on me at the moment, but yeah, there's a few artists I really want to see. Um, and Saturday today is a much stronger lineup than tomorrow, I think. You've got a few artists, a lot of lull tomorrow that I don't really want to see. I think we've got Kim Wilde, Belinda Carlisle before Holly tonight. Martin Kemp's going to be on before him, um, which obviously the ladies will be happy about. So that's pretty much the plan for today. So I'll try and check in and film some of the songs if I can. Um, it's a long date, so you want to enjoy some of the festival, so it's hard to film sometimes, you know, between getting drinks, going to the toilet, and trying to enjoy the festival yourself without ending up filming too much, which is what I've done in previous years, so 
Anyway, I've waffled enough, the alcohol's kicking in. So we're gonna head into the main arena now, so I'll check back in with you shortly. So we've made it into the arena, day one. Saturday with Wine Saves 2022. And are you looking forward to it, Liam? You can hear me amongst the music. Looking forward to it, Liam? Yeah. Are you looking forward to seeing it? Yawn again. Oh, okay, they're on third. Yeah. Anybody else? Holly Johnson. Can't argue with that, I think, for me. Oh, there's more. Uh, this is where we struggle. Do we keep the link? Oh, okay. For me, I'd say obviously. Oh, she beat me to it. I'm all about it. Right, For me, yeah, I like Bjorn again, the other songs. Never 42 because you've never seen them. Kim Wilde, Bruno Carlisle, the usual suspects. And obviously Holly Johnson. So, anything else is a bonus for me. So, if you and can hear us. Yes, we are actually. Yeah, we'll switch cameras. And the bar's yeah. over there, so it's all good. Okay. Bonus, yeah.
Do you like me? I'm back. I'll protect you from the ritual. Keep the vampires from your door.
Oh, it's been lovely once again. Thank you very much. If you're going home tonight, drive safely. If you're staying the night, then be naughty. So it's day two, Rewind South, Henley 2022. And as you can see, I've not been to Barbados this time, I've been to uh, Egypt by the look of my face. <laughs> Absolutely like a lobster, as you can see, the sunburn. Um, right, quick uh, talk about yesterday. Um, I'm not actually sure what footage I've got. I've tried to film as much as I can without having time to get a drink, go to the toilet, relax. Um, it's a bit of a strange day yesterday. I, was, um, I met up with a person I've not seen for 35 years. Um, somebody I met when I was uh, obviously a lot younger than I am now but yeah it's good to meet up with that person um, Martin so big shout out to you Martin good to see you and uh, yeah it was good to catch up have a couple of drinks and thanks for getting me into VIP um, good that I couldn't meet Holly but you never know never know in the future right eh? but uh, it is what it is so right uh, so yeah it was a good day um, I'm trying to think who we saw it yesterday it's a bit of a blur right now I haven't got the listings with me but um, I did um, enjoy seeing level 42 um saw a bit of belinda carlisle from the vip area that martin got me into and uh holly johnson of course is the main thing i was waiting for all day so i was really glad to see that the um the sound was really poor in the the main area um it sounded okay i think for rage hard but the rest of the songs it was all dipping in and out with other artists in the day as well belinda carlisle apparently my partner said couldn't she couldn't hear her in the main area but in the vip i thought she sounded good so yeah i got to see um the last three songs from holly which was relaxed two tribes and the pair of love in the vip area and it sounded much much better and it was an amazing amazing experience i was getting like goosebumps and you know an epic moment pair of love at the end i mean that's just a perfect way to round it off so so yeah it was a good day yesterday um martin kemp uh, i did catch a bit of kim wilde i did miss a few of the acts going in the vip such as odyssey johnny h jazz which i caught a little bit of on a little bit of from the side of the stage but i've seen uh, them before and belinda carlisle of course uh gutted that i wasn't in the main area of, with my missus for the uh spirit in the sky doctor and the medics that you know clive does every year he's here so so yeah but today um it's a bit of a chill one today i don't i don't think the lineups are strong myself today so um the only ones i'm really looking forward to seeing today are uh possibly chesney orcs and pair that i've seen before but uh, tom bailey uh, Mid-year I've also seen before but, and, and the Human League are headlining which I've also seen before but there's a, um, a few artists I haven't such as Tundi from the Lighthouse family so yeah something like that might be okay so that's what we've got planned today um, it was absolutely so hot yesterday with the sun and it, it was you just got no way of getting away from it even with a hat on it was unbearable but today it's cloudy so I'm hoping it stays like this because it's still really warm but uh, it's bearable without the sun blaring on you and there's only so much uh, old red arms can take so or red face whichever way you want to look at it so yeah i'm hoping uh, you enjoy the footage that i put together today and uh yeah i better go and crack that first can open because i'm a little late today so yeah cheers okay so we've not made it into the arena yet but got a nice little song on to cherish every moment cherish cool and the gang i'm trying to cherish every second of being here now because i know the festival's coming to an end it's sunday afternoon it's 10 to 2. as you can see everybody in our row virtually has gone into the festival and we're about to do the same so hopefully the next bit will be me drinking a nice cold espresso martini or a cold beer and watching some music so this is what it's all about
So here I am, well here we are, Rewind Safe 2022, I keep saying, Sunday afternoon. Uh, it's absolutely blaring sun behind us, so I don't know if you can see us. Here's me and Lynn. Hi Lynn. So Lynn, are you enjoying your day? So fun, yeah. We're actually in the VIP area. We actually blagged ourselves a little way in. So uh, yeah, so it's Very absolutely... important. <laughs> Thanks Marty. So yeah, um, we've seen the real thing just, um, and we've got Tom Bailey Thompson doing his next. So yeah, looking forward to that. So yeah, I'll check him in a bit when the sun's gone down because it's so hot and bright.
I have to thank you, you're amazing. Have a great day, take care of each other. Lots of love, we'll see you soon. Fantastic. Never meant to cause you pain. Only wanted one time to see you laughing.
shit. Are you ready for this? We're ready.
Come on, let's see those arms here. Come on.
Yes, it's the day after the aftermath. The weekend is finished, it's over. Can't believe how fast it's gone. What a what a weekend. I'll probably wrap this video up um, when I get home because there's probably there's so much to talk about and obviously we're just uh, packing up now to leave the campsite. It's Monday morning, it's around uh, eight o'clock. So yeah, it's been a hell of a weekend. I mean, how from the footage you've seen so far, I mean, I'll mention it later, but how good we came in league last night. What a way to end the festival. And I don't think that can be topped. Is it the end for me at Rewind? Hmm, I'll have to wait and see. What a weekend. I I, I, I'm absolutely like lost of words at the moment with how good a time I've had and you know how fast it's gone. And it's like um, you get so many high moments here and then you, you come down to one big low. So I'll um, gather my thoughts and put the, an end to this video shortly. But I hope you've enjoyed seeing the footage so far and you can hear me waffle on for a little bit longer if you want. So yeah. <laughs> Hi YouTube, CJ and Retro, <laughs> class of 92, ZX Spectrum. Yeah, back from a really, really, really good weekend at Rewind Safe Henley 2022. I thought I'd do this video oh, on the Tuesday evening, so it's the day after we've got home, uh, been at work today. But I thought I'd do it now because the longer I leave it, the more I'm going to forget things and I'm not going to tie the video up. So, it's hard to remember like, what you did as the week's goodbye as well. So first of all, I just want to say what an amazing weekend it was. I had a really, really good time. And to be honest, I don't think that festival can be topped in my eyes. Um, I would say it's the best one I've been to, and we've done four now. We did 2018, 19, 21 and 22. Of course, there wasn't one for 20 because of COVID. But miraculously, it went ahead last year just after the restrictions were lifted. And this year, it was almost as if COVID had never been there. But um, what, a, what a festival. 
Um, I'll start with, um, we got there a little bit early this year. Um, we got our driver, Simo, uh, to pick us up. I think it, you know, I can't even remember the times. I think it was uh, eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, so we were pretty much there for 10, half to 10, 10 past 10. Uh, we, were in the, we were in the queue before half 10. Bear in mind that the car, the car parks aren't supposed to open until 12 and the campsite's two o'clock. But we knew that wasn't the case in previous years. So we're in there. We were in the queue for probably about an hour. We got in about, um, I would say about half past 11. Um, got in pretty quickly. Staff were really friendly. Wristbands on and straight to booty. Got a... Got a response for that, um, but it was a right trip to the tent because it was a two. My iPhone said it was a two mile walk, which doesn't sound a lot, but when you're pulling a uh, trolleys with like twenty four bottles of water in, twelve cans of lager, other drinks, food, a gas stove, a cool box, your clothes, uh, a camping chair. Thank God we got a pre pitched tent on boutique camping with the uh, bedding. We'd never have done it, but anyway, we got there. And we were absolutely sweating like anything, but we uh, started having a few drinks and watching people arrive and pretty much did that till about five o'clock, had a little bit of a rest. Uh, then went into the arena for the evening and saw Coyote, Coyote Band Ugly, uh, Coyote Band Ugly, Coyote, Coyote Band 80s, I think it was. Uh, they were really good. Um, they did my request that I'd um, mentioned beforehand on Instagram, Boys of Summer. Um, I did miss a little bit of it because I was in the bar, but I heard it and I rushed back as soon as I could. Um, you'll probably see some of the footage actually. Um, so yeah, that was the Friday night, then we went back, we, it was a long day and we were really tired and to be honest, I slept really well, um, four hours or four and a half hours without waking, which is really good for me because I'm always awake every few hours and not slept well the last couple of years for a few various reasons, but um, but yeah, so that was good. The tent, um, oh yeah, let's talk about the tent. Right, so the tent, um, we, we went obviously boutique camping and we had a bell tent, um, now there was only two of us, me and my partner, Lynn, and... It cost about 760 quid, but thank God they did a payment plan. Um, but yeah, we um, we had power sockets like last year. We had um, we went for two single beds this time rather than the double because last year it was so uncomfortable. The springs were sticking us. It was caving in in the middle. We were aching all over. It was it was really uncomfortable, even though supposedly it was um, two singles together. But it, so I'm just going to get a bit comfortable on the sofa. Um, but yeah, it was... Um, a different company this year it was VIP Nation, which I think is to do with Live Nation with the running of events. So it, they took over from Pink Moon, and the tent we had last year, Pink Moon, was small, dark. It hurt my eyes. The spotlight was glaring on you. It was like really unwelcoming, really uncomfortable, um, and not not a patch on the one we had this year. So we had our bed in. We had uh, the the quilt was comfortable. The, the mattress was. Couldn't feel any springs. You know, I actually slept well in it. Um, we had a pillow and a throw pillow each. We had um, a rug, um, a storage place of wellies, which we never we didn't take for, for the first year ever, I think. Um, we had a bin, we had a lamp, fairy lights. The lamp didn't work. The fairy lights were very intermittent, solar powered, of course. And there was no reason for them not to work because it was so sunny and hot. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm trying to think what else we had in there. Uh, oh, we had a padlock for the door, which was really good. Um, we locked it at night inside with the keen so we could get out in an emergency, but nobody could get in. And we locked it when we went out. We felt a lot more safer with it, to be honest. Um, so yeah, the tent, the tent was the tent was better. Much quite uh, spacious area. There was windows on the side which we didn't use. Strangely enough, we should have done. Um, but it was, you know, plenty of space, very bright and airy, comfortable. You felt, you know, didn't feel like we were camping too much. You felt you had a little bit of luxury for the money. Still expensive, but. You know, I think it was really good. You probably noticed I'm doing these in segments because it's actually killing my hand to hold the phone up, believe it or not. But uh, I'm so sunburnt. Uh, you might see, if, I don't know if it'll show it in the light here. It doesn't really show it, I don't think, how sunburnt I've, I mean, might do there, how sunburnt I've actually been. Um, it, I've had blisters and everything. It's been really, really uncomfortable. It doesn't, again, it doesn't show it in this light, but uh, you probably can't even see how red I am and my nose is peeling and lines and where them bags are under my eyes and but anyway yeah um so yeah the tent was great so yeah that was the friday night um saturday morning obviously we're chilling with a few few cans and um, playing the tunes our neighbors are really friendly and we went into the um main arena i think about half past one um it was a bit of a strange day for me because i'm just having a look who was actually on and who i saw um because i'd arranged to meet somebody that i've not seen for 35 years and i was trying to get that set up because um the signal was really bad there, you know, your, your texts were delayed as usual. Um, 
he couldn't phone anybody, he couldn't get it on social media or anything like that. So yeah, we saw him, so having a quick look at the guy. We saw Bjorn again, they were quite good actually. Slim Jim Phantom from the Stray Cats, who's not really my cup of tea at all. Scritability again, not my cup of tea, but a couple of songs were okay. Level 42 were good, I thought. Um, yeah, did all the big hits. They quite a lot, seemed to be on stage for quite a long time. Um, and Blumange, although they didn't do, I don't think they did Don't Tell Me and their cover of The Day Before You Came, which I thought they would. Um, this was sort of when I went to have to leave my partner for a little bit. Um, I missed, basically, Odyssey, Johnny H Jazz, Belinda Carlisle and Spirit in the Sky, uh, Doctor of the Medics, which was a little bit... I didn't miss them as such, because what I did is I went to meet somebody that I know, and he got me in the VIP area, so I did see some of it from that side of the stage. So, yeah, I met up with an old uh, Pontins person, I should call him that, Martin. Thanks for, for meeting up and getting me in VIP, by the way. Um, gutted that you couldn't get me to meet Holly Johnson. Um you know, as was promised, I really was looking forward to that, but I know these things happen and, and you know, and it's not the end of the world, is it? But it would have been great. Uh, but yeah, um, so yeah, so I met up with Martin for about an hour and a half, I think it was. Um, but then we went back, uh, I went back to the missus because I couldn't leave her much longer in the field on her own anyway. See all the sunburn in and it's done to my hand. Um, so yeah, and then I went back for Kim Wilde, which I saw, and Martin Kemp, which a lot of people are slating because... He's just doing a DJ set that, to be honest, anybody could do. Uh, I don't mean that horrible, but the women seem to like him. Um, so then, the, of course, the headline on a Saturday night was Holly Johnson. Now, where we were at the back, the sound wasn't very good. Um, it seemed to be okay for Rage Hard, our favourite song. Um, but it, it was cutting in and out. Um, you could hear the backing singers, then you couldn't hear Holly. It was just going backwards and forwards. It had been doing that a little bit all day, to be honest. And, um, yeah, so what I did is Lynn, Lynn was quite tired at this point. So she went back to the tent and I actually went back in the VIP area and managed to see Holly Johnson for the last uh, few big guy uh, encore of Relax, Two Tribes and The Pair of Love. Um, so I've got some good footage of that. So I was really pleased about that. Obviously, I'd have preferred Lynn to be in there, but uh, that was it for the Saturday. So the Sunday was a bit more chill. We didn't, uh, again, it was more cans, more music with the campsite, chilling with the neighbours. They were, they were quite a good bunch, our, our row at 125 on the boutique. Um, yeah, it was a really good bunch and we felt comfortable and... You know, I had a chat with a few of the guys in the next tent as well. So, on the Sunday, let's have a look, here's my little guide. <laughs> so, I'm sitting up now. On the Sunday, um, it started with Hot House Flowers. I think they're an Irish cover band. I'm not sure. Um, we didn't really see much of them. We went to get an espresso martini from one of the uh, little like bar stalls. That was £10. So, then it was the selection we've seen before. That was okay. Ah, but by that point, ah, that point, I'd... Um, gone to the VIP area and explained that I was in there the previous day. Um, obviously, I knew somebody, blah, 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 and he got me in and, you know, can you, could you change my Saturday thing for a weekend? And basically, because of who I knew and whatever they, they did, so it was really good. So I managed to get my partner in, Lynn, as well. So we were in the VIP area all day Saturday. Sorry, Sunday, pretty much. Um, and to be honest, it's made us think about doing VIP next year because we saw there, we saw the real thing, Tom Bailey, Chesney Hawks and his son, I think, Indiana, who was pretty good on the guitar. Tapeau, Misha Paris, Tundi from Lighthouse Family, Heather Small, of course, M People fame, Midjua, topped off by the League, Human League. So, yeah, it was a really good day. And then what I liked about the VIP, and what's a bit naughty rewind, really, is they hadn't got any um, draft lager in the main area. They were charging 570 a can of. My mind's gone blank. 570, you know, it really has gone blank. <laughs> <laughs> um, 5.70 a can um, Do you know what I've still got Covid brain fog It was Red Stripe 5.70 a can of Red Stripe And I think it was 5.90 For a beer and a um, And there may have been Another one But they were only 330ml can sizes But in the VIP area You'd got Camden Halls Lager And Bexfia And Bexfia I think Camden Halls Was 6.50 a pint Bexfia 6.20 So I was drinking Bex um, They've got like um, Cider cans Again for I think it was Black Strongbow Black Fruits or Magnus, um, I can't remember because I'm not into cider. But yeah, um, I think the vodkas and that were about eight fifty for a single shot with a mixer. Uh, Prosecco was like forty five a bottle, so it wasn't cheap. But I preferred it in VIP. The reason we preferred it is because it was a lot more chilled. You could still take your chairs, but there was nobody like walking past. Not that it's not good in the main area. I don't miss, we've, we've loved it there, 
It's a really friendly vibe. The 99% of people are absolutely superb, but you don't get anyone walking across you here. You've got space. You're limited to a couple of food vendors, but you can go out and bring stuff in from the other vendors or bring drinks in from the other places. The toilets were, were better. Um, there was a chill area. The bar was a big area, and it was just... We could even get fairly close down to the front without pushing in past people who'd been there to the railings. A few of the uh, stars actually come to the greatest hits tent in there as well. So the VIP was a lot, lot more chilled out and we really enjoyed it. So I think for us next year, it would be worth us perhaps paying the extra money, which I think was about 140, 150 quid a head. It's a lot of money. It's an expensive weekend, um, but I really like it. And I think Lynn does too. I hope she does. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's like you talk, the tickets are about 130 quid each for the festival, for the weekend camping. Then you're talking about 760 for the boutique. So that's what, 890, 132, 60 plus 760. That's probably well over a grand, isn't it? Um, then you're talking your VIP another 300, 1300. You travel 1500, then you're spending money. So you're talking it's about 1800 quid if you're going to go to boutique and VIP without really going over the top. But you could have a holiday abroad for that. But if it's something you love doing and you want a great three nights away in some kind of luxury with a great bunch of people, some great music and some great memories and times, then Rewind Safe is the place to go to. It absolutely is in a different league to V Festival. I did V Festival from 2006 to 2017. I did 12 festivals. And yes, I loved it. It's great. And I was sad it finished in 2017. And... Yes, it's good to see Camp Festival now going at Western Park this year. Different festival again. But Rewind is just, it's people of our age. It's not full of people who are off their heads on drugs, drunk at six in the morning, staggering everywhere, fighting, tr falling on tents, you know, causing trouble. It's, it's just full of a bunch of like-minded people who want to have a great weekend. And for that, Rewind Save cannot be beaten. And for me this year, after seeing Holly Johnson, one of my 80s idols, on the Saturday night, Human League, great 80s headline on the Sunday, having the great memories with Lynn, of course, in the VIP, and a much, much more comfortable ca um, camping experience this year compared to last, with a comfortable bed, loads of drink, loads of food, too much sun, yes, but um, you can't have everything. The trek's a bad one, you know, you've, you really could do it going in a group with people who've got trolleys of, and it can help you with other stuff, but for me, it's a superb weekend. I think I've pretty much said everything I, I want to say um, to wrap this video up now because I've been waffling quite quite a long while. But I hope you've enjoyed the footage. I tried to film as much as I could. I tried to calm down a little bit. I really wanted to film all the songs, but there's only so much you can film. And you, you I think somebody said, I can't think who it was now. Was it Pat Sharp? To um, to try watching one of the artists without looking through your phone or your camera. You know, watch it through your own eyes. And I think they're right that. You cannot beat that experience of being there and taking the moment in. When you film, yes, you can still take your moment, you can look away, but it's not quite the same. You're conscious what you're filming. And, and I think we all live in that world now where we want to capture the moments where we are. And yes, it's a good thing that we've got that luxury that we can. But for me, being in the moment there was perhaps why I didn't film as much as I would have liked, I would have done and didn't take as many photos as I would have done this time. So anyway, that's my take on Rewind Safe 2022. What a fucking weekend. <laughs> I can't wait for the next one. I cannot wait another year, but this year went so fast. So thanks a lot for watching my video. I hope you've appreciated the footage. I hope it's come out all right. And if you've not been to Rewind Safe 2022, seriously consider it. It is an absolutely superb weekend. You don't have to do boutique. You don't have to do VIP. You can cut the cost down. If you can camp and you can rough it, the prefer the toilets were clean. They were in boutique. They were really, really clean. The cleanest I've known them. Um, Go for it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Keep it real, YouTubers. Adios. And here's to Rewind Safe Henley 2023. Just one more thing. Why did I say class of 92? Class of 82. ZX Spectrum. I am really going off now. So bring on Henley 2023. Thanks ever so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And as the other YouTubers say, make sure you hit that notifications button and make sure you hit subscribe. The more subscribers I get, the more content I can produce. Take it easy. Bye.